Hi everyone, it's Matt Chapman here for Sky Sports Racing. Of course, we're on the verge of another classic Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, which gives us the chance to go down memory lane. I've picked out my top 10 arcs. At 10, it's the top class Rainbow Quest. He was terrific in 1985. He won the Coronation Cup, finished second to the fabulous Pebbles in the Eclipse and was third to Potoski and oh so sharp in the King George. In the arc itself, he didn't actually win because he was beaten in a narrow finish by Sagas. But the stewards chucked out the original victor. Sagas, quatre toujours une tête d'avance sur Rainbow Quest, suivi de Kozana qui est troisième devant. At number nine, the mighty Enable. During her classic season in 2017, she just ripped the arc field apart. In second, Enable, look at the way she travels in third place. On the outside of Bramto, Jing is secret in blue and black, then is around the outside of Santona Noblesse. Winters trucked away against the running rail in company with Ulysses as they're about to come into the straight. And it's still Idaho leading by about a length to order of St. George in second place. Bramto, goal cap against the running rail, enabled. Dettori poised there in fourth place. Jingis Secret is next. In behind this, Santono Diamond. Ikitos towards the extreme right, uh, beginning a challenge. Two furlongs, 400 metres to go. It's still Idaho, but Frankie says go now on Enable. Ulysses is following her through. Order of St. George behind these. Cloth of Stars is going OK. Needs room. Enable, though, with a furlong to go. She's now powering clear. She's got 200 metres to go. She's three lengths ahead here. Enable from Ulysses and Cloth of Stars. And as they race to the line, Frankie Dottori is going to make history on this wonderfully Enable. She's won it by two or three and easily. Zarkova became the first filly in 15 years to land the arc in 2008. And Android Dupre always believes Zarkova was truly special. Blur Brazil still giving the rider terrible problems here in Blue Jacket. Zarkava has four behind her as they got a half mile to go and they come down the fourth straight. Red Rock Canyon is still in front but is now pushed along. Chaparelli leads the main group to Zambezi, Sunich, Gino. Then comes Soldier of Fortune. Yum Zane getting a run, a nice one against the rails. Duke of Marmalade is next. And then comes Vision de Town, making good headway as Sima de Triomphe. Zarkava still towards the inside, boxed in and all sorts of trouble as they head down. Down now inside the closing stages. It's Gino. Here's Soldier of Fortune. Newm's in against the rail. Chaparelli is next. Duke of Marmalade behind that. Zarkava's into fifth place and she's closing as Soldier of Fortune. And it's Gino with her on the outside. Christoph Sumio's brought Zarkava inside the last furlong to take it up. And it is the invincible Zarkava who is going to maintain an unbeaten record. A smashing filly has won the arc. And number seven is Hurricane Run, who in 2005 landed the Irish Derby before his Longchamp success. He was the top rated horse in the world thoroughbred rankings. Scorpion, dark blue, making progress on the outside from Warsan. Shawanda runs around, she's making headway. Motivator is next from Shuroko, then Pride. Hurricane Run is now traveling okay, but got little room as Warsan weakens quickly. Mugtaka pulled to the outside. Bago coming with a run as they head down the straight now. Cherry Mix has got a narrow lead to Shawanda. Motivator's got a pitch on the rail. Scorpion behind this, then comes Westerner. Hurricane Run's coming on the inside in the orange stripes on the cap. Shawanda, Westerner, Motivator together from Hurricane Run. Shiroko closing on the outside, here's Bago. Go widest of all. Westerner's got the lead with 200 metres to go. Hurricane Run's coming at him on the inside. Westerner from Hurricane Run, who's coming now to take it up as they race towards the line. Hurricane Run is the champion of Europe. Now we're on to number six, Sindar. In 2000, Sindar became the first horse to win the Derby, the Irish Derby, and the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. A bit of a monster. Alors que Sinda repousse jusqu'au bout l'attaque.
Monshaw was beaten by Sindar in the 2000 arc. But a year earlier, he'd weave through the field for a tremendous success. Now for the top four. In fourth place, Golden Horn, who in 2015 won the derby and came to Longchamp and was given a brilliant ride by Frankie Dettori, who basically won the race in the first furlong when he went wide of the rest of the field. He was clear, close home. Erupted on the other next couple of runners from Free Eagle, Manatee, and Sildjian Saga. Trev beginning to make progress already. They are just uh, bunching up a little bit as they head down uh, the hill now. And it continues to be Sharjah, but only by about a half length. Golden Horn has almost taken the lead. And then comes Flincher, who's moved up to take third place from New Bay in fourth. Dolnia, the green colours. And then comes Erupt and Free Eagle. Then the Sildjian Saga and Manatee and Tapestry. Then Trev halfway down the field still. From Eagle Top, Prince Gibraltar and Freen. And then Silver Wave and Spirit Jim at the rear. Already down the fourth straight. They're heading up towards the home turn now. Sharjah has moved on by a length and a half to Golden Horn. Flincher going well in third from New Bay and Dolnia. Trev will be launched towards the outside on the extreme right. And this is it now, the home straight in the arc. Trev towards the right, begins to make her move. Golden Horn and New Bay are the front two, though. Here comes Trev, then Free Eagle and Dolnia. They're heading down with 300 metres to go. Golden Horn in front, and it's Golden Horn and Frankie Dettori from Flincher in second place. Trev is on the outside in third, trying to close. Golden Horn, though, is answering every call from Frankie, and it's Golden Horn who's going to win the arc. At three, see the stars, who in 2009 landed his sixth Group 1 success when scoring in the arc. And then comes Vision to Tower and Fame and Glory and Behestum, and then see the stars against the rails. He's still keen. He's followed through by Hume Zane towards the inside. Conduit's just ahead of this, and the Bogbri is next as they head down the false straight. Magadan behind those. But it is Seth Stair who leads by two lengths to Grand Ducal in second place, who's under pressure to maintain second position, although he is 15 lengths clear of the others, uh, which are headed by Stas Alito. And then comes Darimi and Cavalry Man, Behestum and Fame and Glory, and behind that is Vision de Tar. And then comes See the Stars and Conduit and Getaway. And behind those is Bogbri as they head then down the straight. They've got less than three furlongs to go. And it's Seth Stale in front to Grand Ducal in second place, Stas Alito in third, Darimi for Vision de Tar is next. See the stars in traffic problems, but he's making significant progress now. Stasolita goes to home. Dari Me in second between them. Come see the stars. Cavalry Man is next. Conduit is on the outside. They're inside the last furlong. He had a troubled run through. See the stars in front. Hume Zane's coming through to try and take second place, but he is the brightest star. See the stars won it. Number two of my all-time favourite Art de Triomphe comes in 2001. Saki, trained by Sai Bin Sarur, won the art by no less than six lengths from the unbeaten, up until then at least, Aquera least. Saki would go on and narrowly get touched off by this much, by Tisnow in the Breeders' Cup Classic. It's easy to forget how good Saki was. Towards the inside, Milan with work to do. Little Rock just in front of him. And then a gap back to Sagacity. And Honor Rafik and Chimes at midnight is struggling in the rear. They're running on the approach to home now. They've got about three furlongs still to cover. And up front is Anzalera. But here's Saki in a beautiful position under Frankie Dottori. Saki coming there, cantering. Further out is Foreign Affairs. Then Golan on their heels in fourth place as they straighten up with two and a half furlongs left to go. And Frankie says, go on, Saki and Saki clears away from Golan in second place. Foreign Affairs is third, then High Tory, and they're all chasing Saki's shadow now with a furlong and a half left to go. It's Saki, four, five lengths clear of Golan. Aqua Release comes out of the pack, then High Tory and Sagacity out wide, but entering the final furlong, Saki has a huge lead and he's running right away, and Saki is superb! A brilliant win in the arc. And at number one, ba ba ba, 1986. 
in a record time then of 2 minutes 27.7 seconds Dancing Brave owned by Prince Khalid Abdullah trained by Guy Harwood ridden by the late great Pat Edery hammering down the middle of the track and beating one of the best art fields of all time the likes of Shadari, Sharastani, Triptic and Bering were in there the brilliant French derby winner Dancing Brave just ripped them apart. Dancing Brave, 150 meters du poteau. Dancing Brave vient de prendre l'avantage sur Bering, suivi par Charastani et Triptyque qui vient très fort à la corde.